So I'm here with Steve and we're actually driving down the Bonneville Salt Flats race course. And if that isn't a little bit nuts, I mean normally on a weekend like this we'd be playing with trains, but no, we find ourselves here driving down the Salt Flats. We actually came out here to watch some guys fly rockets. There's the Hellfire weekend going on out here and they're flying model rockets. So that's what we've come to see actually. A lot of these model rockets that show up here are just like the ones you'd buy at the hobby shop, uh, with the exception that some of them are really, really, really big, and they fly really high, and they go very, very fast. Some of them are capable of supersonic speeds, and many of them are capable of traveling to well over 10,000 feet. I was told some of them can go to 25,000 feet. When I was a kid, I used to love the fly model rockets. I mean, come on, it was a good time. Not quite like this, though. This is a little bigger and a little more intense. <laughs> well, I see some people are still into the smaller stuff. But a lot of the people here have come to fly massive, big, big, dangerous model rockets. Look at the size of some of these things. They're also fairly expensive. I found out that it costs around 200 bucks to pull the trigger on some of these large ones every time you fly it. But you don't necessarily have to spend a lot of money. You can have fun building these small rockets and just fly those things. Or you can do something really over the top like that. These great big rockets work uh, very much like the small ones. They're just really big. You have a really big tube that forms the body of the rocket. You have a really, really big parachute that goes into the tube of the rocket. The rocket tube itself is usually designed to break up into a couple of different pieces so that a couple of different parachutes can come out. Most of these things have two parachutes, a small one and a big one, because if you open a really big parachute at, say, 12,000 feet, it may be an hour before the darn thing gets back to the ground. So they have electronic systems that fire a smaller parachute, and then when it gets about 800 feet off the ground, it fires off a much larger parachute to slow the final descent. And it all stuffs neatly into a very large package. It's often really difficult to see where the thing gets to and to see the first parachute open. But eventually the large parachute opens and you can now see the incredibly large rocket slowly finding its way back to the ground. The rockets are prepped some distance from the crowd and then once all the rockets are ready to go, they're launched in sequence. biggest and most impressive rockets are set up quite some distance from the crowd and launched individually. Check out this massive V2 rocket. Wow. Unfortunately, failure is always an option, which is one of the reasons the rockets are set up so far away from everybody. It's distressing to watch several thousand dollars worth of rocket just burning up on the launch pad this way. But that which is designed to go up is also designed to crash. But if screwing around teaches us anything, it teaches us that failure right along with success can be an equal amount of fun. It's all about just getting out there and having a good time. And if your rocket happens to blow up and burn to the ground, well, it's just life. Well, there you have it, the Hellfire Weekend on the Bonneville Salt Flats. It's actually a good deal of fun, provided you survive the heat stroke, which you will inevitably get if you come out here. 
But these guys have been out here for days. Some of them look like it. There was a little bit of uh, lobster color going on in people's complexions. But it is a lot of fun and you can watch rockets fly to amazing heights and you can even come out here and fly your own darn model rocket if you sign up to do that. Well, do pop over to the channel. The link is right down here for Toy Man Television on YouTube. Or you can just go to the website, toymantelevision.com, and from there you can link back to the channel and go to Facebook. You can do all of that fun stuff. I'm not sure how you found this particular movie on the Internet. I hope you didn't find it boring. And I'll see you here again in exactly one week with another fine example of screwing around. See you then.